Welcome back, everybody. Well, today's show is all about what's on trend, and you know, this time of year, using the fresh vegetables that you get at the farmers market and the grocery store, and we're going to turn it into a really delicious restaurant dish that uh, Chris from Christopher's in Manitowoc. Um, you actually have something like this on your dinner menu. We do. We have a pasta primavera on a dinner menu. It's actually all fresh vegetables that we sauté to order. Uh, we make an Alfredo sauce right in the pan mm. uh, to order every time. Most people think that these, you know, making fast meals at home in 30 minutes or less is only for professional chefs and TV stars. But um, everybody can do this at home pretty quick. You get the kids running around. My kids like helping me make dinner. Last night, my oldest daughter actually spent a good two hours helping me make dinner last night. That's so cool. And so important to get them in the kitchen. I always say, if you don't teach them to cook, they're not going to learn how. Correct. The other thing is, is Alfredo sauce is one of the easiest sauces ever to make. And the stuff that you get at the grocery store in the jar is just, you know, that's been sitting on the, on the shelf. Forever. Not good. No, not good. totally yeah. different. Yeah. And this is easy. I mean, you're talking a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some garlic, um, and a little bit of olive oil. And it's cheap to make. It really oh, is yeah. cheap. It takes okay. nothing to make. So we're starting with some uh, olive oil into our skillet. A little and bit of olive oil. And little hot. It will start tossing in the, uh, the vegetables, get them starting to saute. Okay, so green pepper and our yellow summer squash, which I happen to love. Right, and you can throw any vegetable you want in there. You want to throw mushrooms, onions, red peppers, anything in particular. And if you're doing this for speed, you can have everything cut up ahead of time and just saute it to order. And we've even got some pre-grilled chicken breasts that you can grill a day or two in advance. So if you're doing it on the weekends, you're home, you can take your chicken breasts, cook them up on Sunday, cool them off, and then wrap them up and cut them up ready to go for dinner Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday during the week. So you can pre-prep almost everything you have in order to make dinner for the family in 20 minutes or less. Really good idea too. When I am grilling chicken, like yesterday it was so nice, when I'm grilling I always throw a couple extra chicken breasts on. I know I can use them in salads or soups or in this sure. case a quick you know, pasta dish or a stir fry later in the week. And yeah. they can even be eaten cold, a little yep. snack for the kids yeah. mid midweek. Exactly, exactly. So we're waiting for this um, to just kind of saute a little bit. We dropped some pasta. What type of pasta are we using? That's a cavatappi. Basically it's uh, a hollow pasta but it's a Spiral it's with something fun. lines. Yeah. It's something a little bit different. We've used the cavatappi in the restaurant a number of occasions. During the regular menu right now, the, this dish is served with fettuccine, but we keep swapping the pastas in and out because pasta is pasta, but the different shapes and sizes make things a little bit more fun. Totally agree. And it's great for the kids because they like the smaller ones. Instead of having to twirl, they like the smaller pasta. It's easy for them to yeah, eat. Yeah, very true. All right, well, this is sauteing. Let's talk a little bit about our next big night out, which is at Christopher's. Coming up in just a couple weeks, it's starting to fill up. So if you want a spot, you need to get it right away. Um, tell us about the menu. Okay. Well, right now we're a little over halfway full, and the first course is a portobello mushroom stacker. We have baby portobellos, basil, mozzarella cheese, uh, some <clears throat> grilled zucchini stacked on top of each other with a balsamic vinaigrette. Our second course is a traditional uh, Italian salad, but it's a seafood salad with octopus, squid, shrimp, endive, parsley olive oil, lemon juice, it's, you know, a little salt and pepper. It's a very simple, traditional salad. Our third course is a chicken salt and buca. The salt and buca is uh, sautéed chicken with a little prosciutto, provolone cheese, and a lemon butter white wine sauce, some garlic, spinach, and mushroom risotto. Uh, the fourth course is a grilled rack of lamb with a mint pesto uh, <clears throat> and a mint demi to go with it, no. and rosemary duchess potatoes. If we're, I can't even believe that we're still talking food here. We haven't even gotten to, to dessert. And what's for dessert? And the dessert is a pumpkin mousse because it's now coming into the fall. Right. So it's kind of, it's almost like a pumpkin pie in a mousse, Ooh. and it's going to be in a white chocolate graham cracker crumb crust that we oh. make uh, at the restaurant, and it's a, it's it's a fun fun dish. It's going to be a fun menu. Wow, that looks fantastic. Five different wines paired together. Uh, each wine is going to be paired with a different course. Chris is just checking the pasta to see if it's al dente. How are we doing there? I would say it's good. Okay, because it's going to cook again in the sauce. Correct. So I like to undercook the pasta just a little bit. Nobody likes mushy pasta. So our little, vegetables are hanging out. They're doing good there. A little salt and pepper to make okay. sure it's seasoned. You know, at the restaurant, we take the kosher salt and mix the pepper right in with it because it saves time and speed um, when you're doing production for a lot. Even at home, I keep, I keep the salt and pepper actually in a container at home, so all I have to do is just grab it and, yeah. and go. We do that here as well. We do, the, the mixes, 
one cup of kosher salt to one tablespoon coarsely ground black pepper. That's what we use. I use like a little bit more than pepper, just because that's a personal <laughs> right, taste preference. Right, right, right. And it's up to you, exactly. Sure. But that's a, a basic guideline. So in goes now. We've cooked our veggies, warmed up our chicken a little bit, seasoned it with salt and pepper. Now we've got a little some bit of heavy cream Lamer's and heavy some cream. garlic. Garlic. You don't want to burn the garlic, no. so you, I add it in with the cream, so that way it'll sweat out and you get the great garlic flavor. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now, depending on how many you're cooking for, it will depend on how much cream you throw in there. So we're gonna need just a yeah, little bit more. I think it needs a little more. more. A little more. Ann and I are really hungry today. Well, then I'll make sure we have enough sauce for everybody. Okay, How's good, that? good. Okay. Now, if you have some sun-dried tomatoes, you want to toss them in at the end because they're already cooked. We actually do oven roasted tomatoes, so that's why they're a little bit lighter in color and they're done delicious. with olive oil. How do you do that? Um, basically, it's olive oil, Roma tomatoes. You cut them, you put them in the oven, uh, 200 degrees for about four hours. And now with really tomatoes, slow. you know, it'd be it's a perfect great, time yeah, of year. yeah. And they come out delicious. And they're a little bit lighter in color, depending on the tomatoes. Sometimes they're a little bit darker in color, but uh, it takes about three, four hours. I'll get oh. the recipe over to Abby so she can put it on online for everybody. Otherwise, you can buy jarred. Correct. No. Or you can buy the jarred or the, or the, the, the dried in the package in the refrigerated section. Okay. It's now, a whole lot easier doing it that way. Yeah, it's true. But a lot of people have a lot of tomatoes right now. So in comes now our, is this Parmesan? Parmesan cheese. The main three flavors you're going to get in your Alfredo sauce is your Parmesan cheese, your cream, and your garlic. Wow. And that is your sauce. Bring it to a boil. Let the cheese start see, to... it's already thickening. Right. I mean, the cheese is starting pasta? to melt. You toss the pasta in. At this point, you can even pull it right off the stove, put the pasta in there, toss it up, mm. and wow, that's it. And this is on the menu at the restaurant at, for dinner, the dinner menu. So at Christopher's, correct. If you're looking for it and you don't feel like making it at home, and it's the most gorgeous setting, um, even if you just want to go for lunch and get you know salad, soup, sandwiches, where are you located so for people who are looking for you? Uh, we're located at the, at the former Branch uh, <coughs> River Country Club. Yes. It's now... Uh, the golf course at Branch River, Christopher's Restaurant, and it's uh, right about four miles outside of Manitowoc, right off of Highway 310, just short of Two Rivers, right off, actually, coming off of 43, you jump off onto 310 and shoot right over. All right, and hopefully we'll see you at the big night out. Go to our website, reserve your spot today, come with friends, coworkers, your special someone, or, or just come alone. Um, Go to our website, fox11online.com, click on the living tab, and you'll see that big red and black box there that says Big Night Out, and you can get more information on that. Chris is going to stick around. We're going to do another recipe coming up, so stay with us.